Josh Ramey here with Circo Innovations. We're here today introducing our forklift fire truck. In this video, I'm going to show you what we do here at Circo Innovations for our new setup. First things first, make sure you have that cap open so you don't build a suction and destroy your container. Next, make sure you have the proper fluid levels for your engine. Go ahead and open the ball valve from the tank to the pump. From there, you're ready to fire up the engine. Next, adjust your throttle and choke, unroll your hose, and you're ready for water. The roll that you're seeing him roll out is called a triple fold, and we're going to show you how to build that at the end of this video. We're using inch and a half fire hose for this design. We have our employees wear 100% cotton or fire resistant clothing, as well as gloves and helmets. During fire season especially, we like to run our forklift as well as our small engines multiple times to make sure they're running properly. Next you're going to empty your hose and use the butterfly method to go ahead and gather that hose and place it back onto the forklift fire truck. The butterfly method is an efficient way to store your hose, especially if you're going to redeploy it in only a few minutes. Those two rods there are called Izon brackets, and we created those out of PVC pipe and fittings. To create this, we used two of the side saddle T's. Those are item 353's. We also used two sections of one inch PVC pipe cut to two and a half feet long. For the shovel holder, we used two of the grip clamps. You could also use snap clamps for any attachment to this design. As you can see here, we use snap clamps to secure the fire nozzle to the IBC container. Next, we're going to show you how easy it is to take off the pump and hook it up to another water source. Watch closely as Josh takes the butterfly roll and easily takes it out without getting any knots in the hose. Using the IBT containers like you see here is an easy way for this design because it's so readily available for filling up and topping off your water. While operating on the forklift, we stay away from hazards such as trees and even deep gravel or mud. These are two of our employees, Evan and Peter. This is their first time operating on the forklift fire truck. Let's see how they do. For maximum pressure, you're going to want to continuously check your hose to make sure you don't have any bends or any tight corners that are pinching off the water. Mm -hmm. 
We found, especially if you're using this design, moving back and forth, you're gonna to wanna to add a ratchet strap to secure it to the forklift. In this test here, we found that the water stream was reaching approximately 72 feet. Obviously much greater than the three quarter inch garden hose that we had on site. On the same note, we wanted to see what the pressure would be like using a reducer from inch and a half to one inch and then a reducer from one inch to three quarter. Let's see what it does. It wasn't too bad. It was about the same pressure that we were getting from the well on the property. As your skid mount design is sitting there ready to be used, we like to put a little bit of bleach in there to keep that bacteria from building up. This portion here is showing you how to roll the triple fold. It's the roll that we showed you earlier in the beginning of the video. Don't forget to watch our two popular videos we have the skid mount firefighting pump and the roof sprinklers for wildfire season. And coming soon, how we prepared our business for California wildfire season.